Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got an interesting differential equation. It says solve the initial value problem using power wait. Solve the initial value problem not using power series. So I've got an interesting method here that I think is going to work. So I take the differential equation and I'm going to go ahead and put it in standard form. And because it's in standard form, I easily notice that a constant for this differential equation is a solution. So I'm going to go ahead and say that y1, the first solution of the differential equation, is just 1. Once I know a first solution, I can use reduction of order to find a second linearly independent solution. So y2, if I have equation in standard form, is just y1 times the integral of 1 over y1 squared e to the negative integral p of x dx dx. So now I just need to integrate this function p of x with respect to x so I can get y2. So y2 is going to be 1 times the integral of 1 over 1 squared e to the negative integral 2x over x squared plus 1 dx dx. So I've got to integrate that 2x over x squared plus 1 and I can do that with a simple substitution. So I'll use like w equals x squared plus 1 then dw equals 2x dx. That gives me the integral e to the negative integral 1 over w dw inside. And of course 1 squared is 1 so I just simplify those a little bit. Integral of w, 1 over w is natural log of w, w is x squared plus 1 so that's e to the negative natural log x squared plus 1 dx. Now I'll just use a logarithmic rule to rewrite that negative outside the natural log as the exponent of the x squared plus 1 or the 1 plus x squared. I don't really need the absolute value because x squared plus 1 is never going to be negative, at least for real numbers, so we're good to go. Now I can use the fact that the exponential function log logarithmic functions are inverse functions to rewrite this as 1 over 1 plus x squared, since that negative 1 exponent just puts a reciprocal on the 1 plus x squared. This now is a very easily identified integral. It is just arctan x. And now I've got my second linearly independent solution y2, and I can form the general solution y, which is c1 plus c2 arctan x. And I can use my initial conditions to solve for c1 and c2. So 0 equals c1 plus c2 arctan of 0, and arctan of 0 is 0, so c1 is equal to 0. I can differentiate y to get y prime it is c2 1 over 1 plus x squared. I can use my initial condition to get c2 is equal to 1, so then the general solution, actually this, the specific solution, is just y equals arctan of x, and that's how we solve this differential equation without power series.